All right, since NativeScript 5.4 came out, it has the elevation support on Android. This is, um, I guess, to simulate a shadow, and we're gonna take a look at that right now. Everybody, this is Alex from Native Scripting. Today we're taking a look at the new elevation support that came out in version 5.4 of Native Script. Here I got an app. It's a Native Script Core app, and it's running on Android because elevation is only supported on Android at this moment, not on iOS. And that's why it's called Android Elevation. So I'm gonna use this new property on the stack layout. It should be on all layouts. I'm gonna add it to the stack layout here and it's called Android Elevation. And you can just give it some number. Let's give it the number four here. Okay, so far we got nothing. Um, let's see, is this even working? Is this thing on? Tap, 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 it's on. Let's change my action bar name to my app too. Okay, so that's working pretty fast and it's actually updating, but Android Elevation is not working on the stack layout. Now, it may be because the stack layout is taking up the entire window. Well, let's see, I'm gonna go over here to app.css. I'm gonna add a class layout. Let's limit its height to 100 and its width to 100 as well. Now, here's a trick that I sometimes use when I need to troubleshoot this. I'm gonna do border width here, and I'm gonna set that to one. I'm also gonna do a border color, and I'm gonna set that to red. So now I should be able to see my layout as long as I apply that class of layout to my layout. Cool, there it is, look at that. It looks like we have some kind of shadow in there. You know what, let me, um, first of all, make this a little bit bigger. Let's make this 300 by 300, and let me get rid of that border now so we know where that layout is now. This time it's in the middle there, and for some reason it just doesn't seem to work unless I include the border. I'm gonna take the border color out, leave the border width in, and there it is. Okay, so that's interesting. It's giving it a border, a black border. Uh, let's do a border color of transparent and see what happens there. Ah, okay. So is that the trick here? We need to use the border color of transparent. Let me take border width out and see if that still works. Okay, so that doesn't work. So we do need to have border width, it looks like. Let me set this to 10 and see if that changes anything. Okay, so that just pushes the contents in because our border is actually there, it's transparent. So it looks like we do need some kind of border there. All right, I'm gonna change the Android elevation to something big, like 40. And that does look like a shadow. So that does look like it's working. Let's change it to something more manageable, like six. Okay, so we are getting some kind of shadow, but it looks like it does require us to set a border width and a border color. I don't know why that is, but I guess that's the way it is. Now, what would happen if I were to add the Android elevation to one of these labels? Let's see. I'm gonna add it to this label right here that says tap the button. Okay, and nothing happens. What if I add the class of layout right here? Okay, so we are getting some kind of shadow. Maybe I don't want it to be quite that large though. Let's make it a height of 40 and a width of 200. Whoa. We'll take that layout class out of the stack layout. Okay, so there is our label and it has a shadow. That shadow does look a little bit skewed though. I'm gonna take the H1 out of there. So it looks like we do get shadows on labels as well. Rather, I should call it elevation because that's what it is. It's not a shadow, it's an elevation and that's based on the material design spec. Now that's the elevation support that has come out as a PR, and it was a community contribution, which is a really awesome contribution. But in my opinion, if you're gonna support shadows, you should do it in a cross-platform way. So hopefully that's coming soon. Now, if you do want some kind of shadow support, a shadow along a line, and you can color the shadow, I have a video that I created for that. Make sure you check that card and the link down below for that video. All right, I'll see you in the next one.